What's going on guys? It's Professor Adjen back again for another Neural Cloud lesson and for today we will be taking a look at an updated CN tier list that includes all of the available units in CN version including their ARMA and Scripta uh, ratings. So let us go ahead and check this one out. I found this one when I was browsing the Project Neural Cloud uh, official subreddit. So here it is. This is a CN version. Take note guys that uh, units that you will see here is not yet available in global. This rating is uh, one year ahead because CN version is one year ahead from global. So take that one into consideration. And the units that you will see here will obtain that kind of rating after one year. So just be mindful on that one. And also, chair lists are pretty much subjective. It varies from person to person. You may agree or disagree with this list and it's fine. So just take it with a big grain of salt. So this CN version chair list is kind of different from IANA's uh, unit ratings. So let us check this one out. So it has here the SP rankings. So this, these are the chairs. We have the SP, the S chair, the A, B, C chairs. And then we have here the class. I prepare this kind of uh, outlook for the format or layout for the chair list because this one is easy to understand. So the SP class are the God jar characters. So we have here in the sniper, we have Klukai, which is not yet available in global. We have here for the specialist, we have two specialists on the God chair. We have Angela and Nora. I've already talked a lot about Nora in my uh, previous videos. And Nora is a mass summon character. And as you can see, she is one of the top specialists in up to date in the CN version. And then surprise, surprise, we have here Imhotep at the God chair. As you can see here in the lower right of the Imhotep's icon, we have here uh, number three, right? This this means that. Imhotep needs uh, Arma and Scripta uh, up to uh, maximum uh, 3. Fully max out um, Arma and Scripta. If you don't know, Arma and Scripta is somewhat like the module system in uh, Arc Knights or some form of uh, unique equipment in other gacha games that in enhances the character's uh, skills or uh, they have some bonus stats, bonus uh, additional skills. Something like that that makes the character more powerful and some form of upgrade to the character so the best character that has uh, the best upgrade right now in the CN version is Imhotep and as you can see here she is at God chair so yeah Imhotep is really really good if you will fully invest on her especially on her Arma and Scripta and uh, there is an explanation for this one on Iana's spreadsheet if you want to take a look out on why uh, what does uh, Imhotep's uh, Arma and Scripta uh, does? So you can just uh, go ahead and always check on Iana's unit ratings. I will be posting the links in the description down below. So if you don't know the website for that one. So these are the God tier characters in the in this CN uh, tier list. So we have four OP uh, broken characters. Nora might be coming soon in global. Who knows? Who knows? If, if it's not Python or Suyoi, then it's probably Nora who will be next after Dian. But I guess it, it's between those three. Python, Suyoi, or Nora. So yeah, if it's Nora, I, I'm doomed. I'm gonna be needing to spend... Uh, I'm gonna be opening my wallet because uh, yeah, she's not only she is a top tier character, she is also a top tier waifu. Next, we have here the S tier rankings. We saw with the sniper, we have Chansey with Arma in Scripta 3, Mod 3. And then we have here Diane. Uh, these two are already in global. We have here uh, Jang. What is her name? This, this one is my. Uh, this is the one waifu that I am most anticipating about. This is a mass summon for me, this character here. Uh, her name is. Uh, Jang Yu, yeah, Jang Yu. Just look at her, man. Look at them legs. Look at them thighs and the abs. Everything I want in the in the design, in the character design, Jang Yu has them. 
So yeah, Jang Yu is a mass summon for me. And it turns out that in Iana's unit ratings, uh, Jang Yu is already a demigod. This ratings demigod is somewhat uh, the same as the other uh, characters like Lukai. But here in this tier list, Jang Yu is only at S tier. Next we have Nasita, which is uh, one of the core uh, warrior uh, warrior team. And then we have Aki at mod 3 also, Arma and Scripta 3. So Aki becomes a really really good character, surpassing Hachuchiri. Surprise surprise, Hachuchiri is not in the S tier in this uh, CN version, in the S tier rankings. So there is that. Uh, one thing to take note about this one. And then we have here for the specialist, we have Undine. She's uh, apparently a very new character that was released in uh, CN version. I think she was released on Christmas, last Christmas, because she has this uh, very lovely uh, Christmas skin. And then this one is Turing. Yeah, I, I believe this one is Turing, the other specialist. But Turing needs uh, Mod 3 to be classified in the Esther rankings. And then we have uh, Pasel, Pasel, and Suyoi. Oh, we have a lot of uh, specialists in the S tier ranking. So we have Undine, which is not available in Global. We have Turing, which, which is uh, also not available. Pasel and Suyoi are not also available. But we have here uh, Bangshi, Rise, Abigail, and Groob. Groob, man, Groob. Surprise, surprise again. Groove is considered probably the worst character in global right now. If you're gonna ask me, I believe uh, she's the worst character in global. But in this C CN updated uh, tier list, they value Groove's Arma in Scripta 3 to be at S tier rankings. I don't know why. I don't know the explanation. I'm just reacting to the list here. Because uh, this tier list is also pretty much uh, very big because there are no explanations. So I still prepare Iana's uh, unit ratings because she expla uh, Iana explains uh, really well why the unit is that in that tier category. So we have here also Banshee with mod 3, Abigail with mod 3, Rise without mod is already pretty darn good, pretty darn strong, only uh, one tier behind uh, Angela. And you will see a lot of uh, Rise in the black hole, black hole clears. If you take a look at in the rank leaderboard rankings in the black hole in global, you will see a lot of Rise in the in those uh, team lineups. For the healer, we have uh, Helix. We have Jin without mod. Pog, already a top tier character. We have the Lacy with mod 3. We have uh, Florence with mod 3 and also surprisingly good, we have here Jesse. Maybe a lot a lot of the player base have been ignoring Jesse, including me. I did not expect Jesse to be that good because uh, I don't find her that waifu. I think she's, she's a trap. She's a trap, right? Is she a girl or a boy? I, I did not take a look at uh, his or her profile. Because uh, my main healer right now is Nanaka and uh, Delacy. Delacy is a uh, waipu. I sa I'm summoned for Delacy because for waipu purposes. And it turns out that she will be that good after quite some time when uh, her mod 3 comes out. So yeah, also Florence at uh, mod 3 here at the S tier rankings. So moving on from the healer category, we have the tanks. I forgot the tanks here. In the Oh yeah, there's no, there are no uh, broken tanks. So we have here the tanks. We have Evelyn mod 3, Sochun mod 3, and Cloto. Cloto is not yet available in uh, global. But surprise, surprise, there is no Croc. Where is Croc, yeah, right? Where is Croc? I thought Croc is in the top of the rankings. But surprisingly, in this uh, updated CNG list, she's not in the top. So we have here mod 3 for Evelyn and mod 3 for Sochun. I've been raising my Sochun for quite some time now because she is waipu. Because uh, her design is very gorgeous, very pretty. But it turns out that uh, 
without this uh, modri arma inscripta she's not she's very underwhelming uh, and she's underperforming and also crop exists that is why she's been neglected but mika loves her that uh, they gave her some uh, love and uh, she's uh, pretty useful now after quite some time but we still need the uh, we don't know when will the arma inscripta upgrade will be available in global maybe in the next coming month in the next two or three or four months who knows but it is uh, something to look forward to because uh, underperforming characters are doing pretty well now in uh, cn version which is also pretty good so that is for the s tier rankings now we move on to the uh hr rankings as you can see here uh we don't have uh sangin i think this this one is sangin the the sister of uh, diane she's still not available in global we have earheart we have magna hilda we have a uh, we have dupin we have uh, dushibnaya Oh wait, let's talk by class first. For the sniper sniper team, we have a lot of sniper teams here. We have Sangin, we have Bairhart, we have Habol, we have Kuro, surprisingly only at HR. We have Uranus, we have Sock Dollager, we have Chansey with no mods, and we have Lam. So the units that are not available in global are Uranus and Sock Dollager plus Sangin. Surprisingly, Earheart is already here at the top. At the top of Kuro. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have not checked out uh, Earheart's uh, skill kit yet. And I did not uh, raise her yet. So, because I am a Kuro main. So, it, it saddens me that Kuro is only at Aether in the CN version now. Yeah, it's just sad. But uh, it's understandable because uh, it's it's been uh, more than uh, one year now in CN version. But maybe, who knows, Kuro will get some uh, Arma Inscripta later down the line and reclaim the God spot, the God title position. But we will see. I'm, I'm waiting for Sack Dollager to come. He's, she's coming with uh, Suyoi if Suyoi is the next banner. Banner character in global. So yeah, that is all for the Sniper in the HR rankings. Now moving on to the Warrior class, we have Magna Hilda, which is not yet available. Hachuchiri, only at HR. Aki, without uh, Arma Inscripta. And we have Betty, Centauri with Mod 3, and Fern with Mod 3. So these are the characters that has mods that are uh, maybe the least priority when upgrading their Arma Inscripta. Because uh, as you can see, they are only at the HR here. Moving on for the specialists, we have Dupin, we have Dushibnaya, and Bangshi without uh, Arma Inscripta. For the healer, we have Nanaka, uh, Florence, there is no Persicaria here. So yeah, there's that also. So Nanaka is only HR up to now in uh, CN version. Still pretty good. And for the tanks, we have a lot of HR tanks here. So we have here Croc. So Croc is not the top tier tanks in the game anymore in the CN version. We have here Milau, which is not available in global. We have here Yanni, Boni. Uh, what is this name? Simo? No. Sian? I think Sian. And then Python, and then Evelyn without Arma and Scripta. So as you can see, we have uh, two star and one star characters in the HR rankings here. Even without Arma and Scripta. I've been raising my Yanni for quite some time now because I need her to be a uh, stat stick in my uh, conquest to clearing Black Hole 140. Because uh, man, you really need a lot of uh, physical defense uh, in clearing that one. And I'm still lacking a lot of uh, physical defense stats that is why i am raising my yanni now raise your yanni guys if you don't have any more uh, characters to raise she's worth it no he is worth it i believe he yanni is a he right he is a trap moving on to the beacher the no not, not the last one so we have here max fresnel and simo 
Then we have Beer Chelsea, which uh, has really fallen down in the rankings. We have Cento Racy and V. Uh, I sure hope that B will get some Arma Inscripta in the future because uh, B, B's design is very gorgeous. She's very gorgeous. Uh, we have Beer Hana and Turing, which uh, are not yet available in Global. Mm, Turing is in uh, S tier if, you, if she has the Arma Inscripta, but without Arma Inscripta, she's only at B tier. We have Beer Sakuya and Abigail plus Mai for the beacher and then for the healer we have Persicaria our pre 5 star character from the beginning and Delacy without Arma and Scripta modifications for the tanks there are no B rank character in the tanks next for the lowest uh, of them all lowest chair of them all we have Octogen man and they really need to get to give Octogen some love the, old, the lonely sniper at the bottom chair and of course we can see Sol here Sol is probably one of the worst wire type class in the game also alongside with Fern and then we have Antonina Willow Groove and Kaysenia Kaysenia I believe her name is Kaysenia and lastly we have for the medics we have uh, Choco and uh, Panakea and for the tanks we have Sochun without without Arma and Scripta mod but Sochun will jump right into the S tier with uh, her mod so it's kinda negligible to look at this one but if they have the Arma and Scripta these characters will uh, improve their uh, status in the, in the rankings so yeah that, that is all about in this uh, CN uh, tier list. If you want to take a look at this tier list, I will be putting the links in the description below so you can check this one for yourself and uh, maybe study this one. Taking uh, Global is very fortunate to have this uh, global uh, for, uh, this uh, future uh, foresight. So yeah, that is the CN version tier list updated with their Arma in Scripta. And I think that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.